social media has emerged as a powerful tool in shaping the democratic landscape of Ghana. This is revolutionizing the way citizens engage with political discourse and civic participation. With its ability to amplify voices, bridge gaps, and foster transparency, the impact of social media on Ghana's democratic processes is empowering citizens and reshaping the country's political narrative. City News' Daniel Sakite has more in this report. Ghana's evolving democracy is finding a new resonance in the digital age. Social media has become a catalyst for civic engagement, bridging divides and amplifying voices in the democratic landscape of Ghana. The digital realm has provided a platform for citizens to express their concerns, unite in causes and actively shape in the nation's future. I could say it has drawn the attention of the government because now if almost everybody is on the social media and if, if the agents, agents of the government are not directly on the social media, they have reps who are on the social media get information for them. Notably, political parties and pressure groups have harnessed the power of social platforms, leveraging their reach to mobilize supporters and advocate for their agenda. Hashtags such as the Fix the Country, Occupy Julobi protest, Occupy BOG protest, Fix the Tema Motorway have in recent times sprung to life, igniting discussions even on traditional media. So you have a motorway every day? Yes, ask him. How bad is it? No, it's, it's, it's very bad, Bernard. Um, you know, and now the issue is even compounded. You have a bad road, you have um, bad drivers. You have trot trot drivers. You have pedestrians crossing. So it's now clear. It's free for all. No, it's a, it's a death trap because we have allowed the motorway mm. to deteriorate over time. Such social media activism has consequently mounted pressure on the government to address issues on road infrastructure, good governance, corruption, among others. The governing New Patriotic Party believes that the social media activism in the current democratic dispensation must be done in a constructive manner. We've seen instances where people have utilized social media to hold various governments and institutions accountable. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I think it's the right thing to do. However, though, it's, it's the use of the medium to make positive impact, not negative impact. You know, in Ghana, what you see currently is that the youth are using the medium to a degree of negativism, where people are attacking and insulting and denigrating image uh, or people's image on the basis of what they hear or what they saw briefly. But as the government feel pressured to act on various hashtags which have surfaced during its years of governance... Government, uh, whether we feel pressured or not, it's immaterial. People have voted us into power, they've given us a mandate and we must deliver on the mandate. If people write letters to us, if people use social media, if people demonstrate, however they express themselves, for me, that is fine. It is our duty to sort of absorb the pressure and then, where necessary, educate young people. So usually it's not the case that government is not doing anything about it. As I've said to you, the Tema Motorway, something is being done about it. If you see, we've done the Botiman to School Junction. And once that is completed, we hope that by then Parliament has passed or given approval to what we've tabled at Parliament so the main Tema Motorway can commence. Now, if somebody comes out and says that fix Tema Motorway and government responds, it doesn't mean government was aloof and, and was doing absolutely nothing. Something was being done. The drawings have been done, the negotiations, the loan agreements that we are going to use to fix it. And then it needs to go through the statutory processes like parliament, etc. You know, some, some of them include eminent domain, meaning that we have to uh, move people and compensate them. All of that. So all of these things have to go into road construction before you can do it. So when some of these behind the scenes efforts are being made, people feel like nothing has been done. But perhaps what that means is that government also have to be pro proactive in 
communicating. For Pressure Group Democracy Hub, it has vowed to continue in its pursuit of demanding good governance and better living conditions. We are not saying that um, they, they should come and turn Ghana into a, a utopian whatever state, you know, overnight. We know that is not practicable. But we are saying that, look, there are so many things that have gone on over the years that this government has been in power. And I'm, I'm not even excluding the past governments, okay? We, we, so, you see, I think that they are taking this whole thing wrongly, that we are attacking the government. If, 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 we, if, we if we do not attack the government of the day, who should we attack? Should we attack the opposition? It is you we are paying taxes to. And then if you claim that we are not reading, we are not updating ourselves with things, with the happenings of, you know, what goes on in the country as far as um, governor, governance is concerned. I think that's, that's, that's um, 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 what, it's, it's, it's neither here nor there. We can, if you have done all these things that you're saying, we can see for ourselves how, how.